The question of the day is, can money really bring happiness? In life, we are told by just about everyone that money can't buy happiness. Yet when it comes to money and making money, it seems to always make people happy. So in this lesson, you're going to find out how to bring happiness to your life with money. There are many equations that come along with this, such as savings, investments, loans, and other typical stuff that you do on a daily basis. But I'm going to teach you how to solve these things and how to make yourself more money while using examples as to why it's the right way. The first section in this chapter, I'm going to cover the difference one percentage can make. So when you think of percentages in general, if I were to give you these two percentages right here, 4%, 3%, you'd say it's not a big difference. If I said, I'm 4% done with this presentation versus I'm 3% done with this presentation, you would say it's about the exact same thing. It's not that big of a difference. But when it comes to investments, we see why it makes a huge difference. So take this as an example. Ryan and Nick both decided to invest $5 into two different accounts. Ryan's account pays 4% annually, while Nick's account pays 3% annually, which is 1% less. After 100 years, hypothetically, what would Nick's and Ryan's account balances be if they never took their money out of their accounts? So first, you're going to have to need to find the equation you're going to be using. In this section, you're going to be using this equation. A equals P times 1 plus R to the T. So in this, P is the price put in, R is the percent given back annually, and T is the amount of years spent. So now we're going to make this into an equation to solve it. And we're going to split them up into Ryan's equation and Nick's equation. So for Ryan, we have 5 times 1 plus 0 0.04, so 4% to the 100th power. And we get $252.52 after five years, after 100 years, sorry. For Nick, we get 5 times 1 plus 0 0.03, or 3%, to the 100th power, and we get $96.09 after 100 years. So, as you can see from this, Ryan made about $156.43 more than Nick after 100 years, just putting it in 1% more annually. So another thing we'll be learning about is one payment loans. So what is one payment loans? Well, one payment loans are loans that are paid once a year and have a certain interest rate that you will pay just that one time a year. So this one's very easy to understand. Say you go into a loan company once a year, when you get into the office, you're asked to borrow $1,000. Usually, it's about a 12% interest rate. So in that case, you go back one year later, and you bring them the $1,000 back. But on top of that now, you need to bring back the 12% interest you owe. So to find the 12% interest is very easy. You have 1,000 times 12% or 0.12, and you get $120. So you bring them $1,120 one year later because of interest. Now, the last thing that we're gonna go over is stocking up on investments. So suppose there was a man named Chris, and he was looking to invest into Apple. Now let's show Chris what it would look like after five years hypothetically. Suppose Chris purchased 30 shares of Apple stock, which is being sold at $100 per share. This comes out to a total investment of $3,000. So if we deposited this to a savings account and paid interest annually for five years, and after five years, hypothetically, it came out to $4,200, what interest rate was paid on this account? And how do we solve that? Well, first, again, we're going to need to find the equation we're going to be using. The equation we're going to be using is T times 1 plus R over Y to the Y power. So in this, you see the T is equal to total investment, Y is equal to years invested, and R is the interest rate, which is what we were solving for. So we then turn that equation into our actual equation to solve the problem about Chris's investment to Apple. So you get $3,000 times one plus R over five to the fifth power equals 4,200. So now if we divide both sides by $3,000, we simplify it to this. 1 plus r over 5 to the fifth power equals $1.04. We will then take the fifth root of both sides to get out that fifth power, and it will come to 1 plus r over 5 
equals $1.07. We then will subtract one from both sides, and we will get 0 0.07 on one side and r over fifth on the other, r over five, I mean. And then after that, we will multiply the sides by five each, and we will find r is equal to 0 0.35. So in the solution, you see that it is 0.35% interest rate. And in other terms, the average rate of return right now in 2020 for interest is 9.85%. So as you could guess, this would not be a very smart investment idea for Chris. So I know there was a lot to go over this. I hope you were able to keep track. And I hope that this is a very important lesson for you guys as you know, you're going to start doing more stuff like this later on. And I hope you realize when it comes to investing, you really look far into detail. As I taught you, 1% can make a huge difference in your life, whether it is good or bad. It's also good to make sure you look to see if the investments you're looking at to make are actually going to give you a good rate of return. And remember, as much as money matters and can bring you happiness, don't let it be the only source of happiness. Thank you.